Good morning, summer school day six. I continue to face the challenge of documenting everything as it unfolds and the need to maintain a level of professional discretion. And so it's hard to tell you how things are going on some of my projects right now because, well, the jury's out and the people involved are challenging to work with. For now, what I'll say is that we're getting closer and closer to a resolution. I'm not sure it's a good one or not, but we're getting closer and closer. And here's something to keep in mind. There is a big difference between power and talent, or power and being right. And unfortunately, sometimes people with power win disagreements, even when they're wrong, just because they're in charge. And that's one of the things that we all have to learn how to stomach, because no matter how well crafted an argument is, if they don't want to give in, even if they don't believe what they're saying, they don't have to. And that's a weird place to be sometimes. Sometimes you just have to swallow some pride and figure out how to work around that mindset. P.S. Thanks a lot, Weather. You know, this actually was on purpose a minute ago, and now look at it. <laughs> what a mess. Hi. Did you think of the thing I pre-recorded? I didn't like it. Okay. Because I thought it was a little cold and it wasn't as sincere as the actual Snapchat stories that you've been segmenting together, putting together. So I thought that was more natural and I liked that better. So do you think I should even have an introduction? No, not really. So just take the Snap story, put yeah. it as a video on YouTube, be done. Exactly. <laughs> One of the things that I'm working on right now is separating the difference between like me and the intentional academy stuff mm -hmm. and so right now it's all befuddled like if i really look at my instagram it's basically intentional academy right, right and if i go to my website like it's called the intentional academy but then the blog is me mm -hmm. and like things are all mixed up the goal is that most of it is just me in a way that people can get to know me and kind of see my heart behind everything that i'm up to mm -hmm. Um, and then the intentional academy stuff, I really do want that to become a business, yeah. but I don't want it to feel like every single time I get on the internet and do something, it's another friggin' commercial trying to convince somebody to go buy my class or my book or whatever the heck that even becomes, right, you know, like right. I want there to be a, a separate thing there so that people don't just see me as another online salesman. Cause I mean, you know, that's not what I am, but that's cause you know me. Mm -hmm. And you know, now if I try to branch out to people that don't know me, Right. It's a little harder to catch that. Yeah. Every time somebody tells me I can't do something, what I hear them saying is, I can't do something. Yeah. It was nice to see you. Right, it's nice to see you. It's really nice getting visits like that because what he wanted to talk about was the things that I'm doing online and told me which parts were interesting and which parts were weird. And uh, man, so much growth there for me. Um, so, hey, thanks for the feedback and uh, for taking the time to hang out. It was a really, really cool session.
Man, sometimes things happen that just restore your faith in humanity, and it's so great. I ran to catch the train, and if you're watching, I missed it. And so, flustered, dropped my ID on the train platform along with $50 worth of train tickets, hopped on the train, discovered it when the conductor came by, and of course I had no ticket to give them. Step one, conductor was, of course, very understanding, gave me a phone number for the lost and found, said, don't worry about it, we got you covered, take your train home, it'll be okay. So then I start spamming out, help find my thing to all the social networks, hoping that somebody will randomly walk onto the platform and get it. All the while, I already had an email from a complete stranger. And that complete stranger had already found my things, used my ID to look up my email address, and sent me an email saying, hey, guess what, found your stuff. Let me know how we can arrange to hand it off. That's really cool. I like living in a world where people do that for each other. So here's your challenge. Go find $50 of somebody else's money and give it back to them. Yeah, that's my new goal. I gotta pay that forward. Thank you so much, dear stranger, who helped me out today.